Alright guys, uh, this is your weekly update and uh, this week we actually got the white samples that uh, the manufacturers sent us and we're gonna... Yeah, very exciting. We haven't opened it yet. We literally well, we we did all... open to check it. We opened the yeah. FedEx bag to check but we haven't actually opened the inside part. So we're gonna do that now. So your first impression is our first impression essentially. That's it. Cool, let's get started. So over here we've got the FedEx box that it came in and uh, we have originally opened the box just to check that everything is in there but uh, everything is still in their bubble wrap so I'm just going to show you what you, each of these things do. Alright, exciting. Let's uh, open the main event up. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's good. Oh, no. yeah. The idea here is that it's a exact one to one of what the game will physically be, uh, minus artwork, and it's a way for us to see physical dimensions, really, see that everything fits, uh, get a feel for the game, and make any adjustments before we go to a final uh, final design. So as you have noticed over here, and I'm going to grab the um, original sort of game box to show you the differences, um, but this here is the original prototype, and you, you can see it's actually much bigger. Um, it's designed specifically because we wanted the, uh, the game to be sleeved uh, in the game, but we also want to make sure that the, uh, the rule book and the uh, recipe is actually quite nice and large. So uh, if the orientation is going to be like this, so you can see that it's actually a bigger game. Um, and in terms of comparisons to what we've got here, I'm going to quickly grab a couple of games just as an um, example. So also you can actually just turn around and just show them sort of, mm -hmm. uh, just to be collection of stuff. Well, there's a game collection. <clears throat> so I think Melee is probably quite similar. Um, compounded probably as well. And I'll grab one more. Um, Machikora probably is a good one. So a lot of people probably have an idea of the size of the game. So over here we've got probably smaller than Machikora. Um, it's, it's almost identical to melee. It's uh, slightly thinner, um, and comparison to the compound, it is a bit smaller with wise and a bit taller the size, um, and less sort of height. So that's sort of what we're looking at. Um, it should look quite nice on your st uh, on your shelf um, with a sort of much larger. You know, may, bearing in mind that this is really just a prototype that we made up, um, it'll be sort of much more cleaner. So that's the comparisons, and let's have a look at what's inside the box. So, let's see. Okay, so we've got the box here. We have the fold-out poster. Oh, wow. It's a... <laughs> <laughs> it's a real nice sort of size. It's actually going to be horizontal. We haven't shown what the final um, print is. It's, it's actually done now. So it's going to be a, this sort of um, size. It's actually quite sizable. Yeah, that's bigger than I imagined in my head <laughs> uh, based on the entropy poster. Uh, <laughs> this would be the, the rule book. Uh, nice big uh, rule book that has illustrations in there. Um, the page count is not indicative because obviously we haven't finished the rule book design finals yet. But yeah, that's sort of what we're looking at. That that would be the recipe book and the rule book and the printout. Uh, then going in, we have the um, the tokens. We'll open that last. Uh, we have the um, the cards, and this will be the burger of the world um, rule sheet, essentially. Um, so there's that. And the burger of the world um, packaging, so that it comes with the uh, stuff. 
Now I'm going to open this other packet um, after this, but this is actually going to be what the um, the retailers are going to get the uh, the expansion pack. Um, obviously, for all the pl um, all the guys that had backed us, you'll get that included for free. Um, but for the retail copies, they're extra. So there's that, and comes with it the uh, the two decks. As you've noticed, uh, once you put the two decks in, um, you still have two compartments left. And the reason is because when you sort of put in the sleeves, it should actually um, will sort of double up the height of this and you'll need all four compartments. Um, that is including the burger, up, um, burger of the world thing, uh, in there as well. So there's that, there's this. Notice that the sleeves, um, the compartment is actually not big enough for the sleeves. This has already been raised to the manufacturer and the reason why uh, it wasn't done in that particular way is because they don't actually have um, any sleeves as a reference. So over here we have uh, some reference sleeves and this video, um, uh, Nick, our manufacturer, is going to have a look at the video and um, if need be we can send them some of these as well. As um, To be fair to the manufacturer, they actually raised it with us. Yeah. The, Cards, sleeve cards wouldn't fit in the original um, box size that we specified. So one thing we're doing this time, or at least planning to, is the gold uh, pull tab on the, the decks uh, for a couple of reasons. Uh, it looks cooler. Yeah, <laughs> it's far, it's easy. far easier to open up. And also, you don't get that slight bend in the cards from shrink wrapping. Yep. Um, this is more, it's gentler on the cards, so they'll come out dead flat. So it's got a um, good quality sort of um, uh, sort of feel to the cards. This is not the finish, obviously, um, or is it the finish? I'm that's, not sure. Is yeah, it the finish? That's oh, okay. The finish, yeah. yeah. So that's it's a linen finish. Um, it's, it's gonna aqueous sort of coating on this. Yeah. It's gonna feel different again when you've got actual print on this. Um, and if you can see, it's got a linen sort of look to it. I'm not sure if it comes out on the yeah, camera. It's glinted in the light. Um, yeah, that's come up nicely. Yep. Yeah, you can see that. Yep. Okay, so uh, the cards will fit in there, and we've got some sleeves. So the, that's how it looks. Oh, nice. That's the first time I've seen it in sleeves. Lady Blady card. And it doesn't quite fit, as you can see in the uh, in the corners there. Um, but we're of. Um, ready sort of raise it to the manufacturer to actually increase the size uh, and to ensure that this fits um, so that's already been sort of discussed um was it two weeks ago that we actually read this or a week and a week and oh, only last yeah. week yeah yeah uh so there's there's that and uh, once we sleeve everything we're going to test to make sure that the height is enough um, we're a little bit concerned whether or not there's enough uh, depth to the tray um, so that's something that we're going to raise as well if need be um, so that's the reason for the white box sample is to make sure we iron out all these issues. Then we're going to open up the coins. Uh, there's no elegant way to do this. So I'm not sure if um, that style of bag was intentional. Or, um, I would think for the final version we'll do a Ziploc bag. Yeah. Because uh, it's a little more convenient. Yeah. Um. So with the these are the foils. Um, again, I haven't really fully de decided whether or not to go proper foils or whether or not we go metallic pa uh, prints. And the the deciding factor for me is going to be largely just be based on um, appropriateness. Once we do a print on this, I feel like the foils are actually going to come out quite well um, with the colours on it. But it's hard to tell at this point, obviously because there's no print on this. Um, but they feel good. Um, I'm not sold on the little tiny, um, uh, yeah, a little bit fiddly. yeah, so I'm considering like originally the idea is that different denominations will have different size, uh, different sizes. So this would be the stars. This will be the five. So it's a little bit smaller. And then the, the ones are smaller still, but to be honest, I'm not, I'm not feeling this. Uh, I feel like we should just go for the, all the same size and this, yeah. and this set of configuration print on them anyway. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It'll be very obvious. Plus, it, uh, the game doesn't require any hidden information, so it's not like you have to. You need to stack these up to hide no, um, your information. So it's not really that important. And bigger coins, I think, is better yeah. in this in this instance. How's the thickness? The thickness is perfect. I wouldn't go thicker than this, to be honest. Nice. Um, yeah. 
So that's nice. I sort of splay them out on the on the table there. Um, yeah, they feel good. How's yeah, the tray quality? Uh, the tray quality is really really good. Um, it's got the sort of the the ribs um, as all trays should have. Mm -hmm. um, so one thing to note, and this is this was actually a decision. If you've noticed in um, the Entropy game, which I don't have an open copy here with me, um, it has a has a finger hold. Um, so it's actually going to be uh, sort of there's a um, sort of like a recess in here, so that it's easier for, to get the, the cards last out. The card can be sort of scooped out. Yeah, but um, the concern here is that we we've already increased the size of the box to a fairly significant sort of dimension um adding another sort of you know five mil or three to five mil for that um, extra one uh it makes the game just a little bit you know wider thicker and bigger and um obviously the cost is also a concern so what we're going to do is we're going to sleeve everything put them into the box make sure that it all fits and then see how much more we can actually add to the height of it to see if we can get that recess but that's not a promise really so mm -hmm. um uh, if we can make it and, and it actually costs uh, the, the cost is actually okay in terms of shipping and everything else then sure we can afford to do it we'll do it but otherwise yeah that's that, that that's a nice to have but a, not a must have for us for this game uh, then we've got the burger of the up um, burger of the world I mean uh, uh, so it sort of comes in this uh we won't explain this. I don't think. Yeah. Trust me, this will be cool at some point. Um, and uh, the 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 game. The, uh, we won't open this, but this is basically the expansion uh, cards. It's yeah. going to be in there. Fit neatly in the game box. And in the uh, retail version of the um, stuff, this is what it's going to look like. Essentially, it's going to be bound into it like this, and there's going to be print on this, print on that, and print on the back, and sort of um, stuck on the wall. Mm. The, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, expansion for bigger up. Um, immediate feedback would be this is a little thinner than I'd like. I think. Yeah. So this, I think, yeah. we need to go thicker on the card. Maybe uh, one, one stop grade. Thicker or something. Yeah, uh, but otherwise, yeah. Considering it is for retail, it's different. We make different considerations for retail packaging yep. than we do for Kickstarter um, yeah. packaging. But um, definitely, it needs to be a little thicker. Um, further to that is, I feel like, do these need to be rounded? Uh, generally speaking, I mean. Uh, uh, yeah, generally they are. Yeah. Um, depends on maybe they couldn't. Maybe for the tooling, they don't have the dies for the tooling. Well, this this wouldn't right. have been cut because you can see that this is sort of hand cut. Yeah. yeah. So I think that the, for the white box sample, this this is actually going to they're going to I'm sure that's something to race with the manufacturer to make yeah, sure that yeah. Yeah, but it's glued to the backing, and generally it's rounded, so yeah. it's sort of easier to peel off. Yep. Um, yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. Quite like it. Yeah, it's good expansion for the game. So yeah, the Kickstarter, you guys will basically get that but it'll come pre-assembled in the box like like we uh, saw just before wrapped yep. up um, yeah. there you go cool that's the white box sample yeah, I like it so <laughs> yeah nice all right uh, we'll, we'll uh, come back with some final thoughts eh? yeah Okay, so we've had a look at the white box, uh, we had close-ups. Uh, Alan and I have had a chance to discuss our thoughts on the whole thing. So we're going to go through each bit now and just give you an idea of 
generally what we're thinking. Um, so uh, we'll start start with the box. Um, so we're quite happy with it. The the external finish is nice. Um, the the thickness is good. Um, you know we'd like it to be potentially a little bit thicker, but that comes down to a sort of a cost thing. Because um, if you make the card thicker. The weight goes up, shipping goes up, everything goes up. But as it is right now, it's really good. Um, so that's something we'll, uh, we'll we'll talk to the manufacturer about making it thicker. But for what we have now, it's really good. Uh, cards, cards are really nice. We're really happy with them. Uh, they've done a great job as usual. The, the linen finish is really nice. Um, it's good sort of snapback. The the cuts are clean. Um, so that's really good. Uh, we're a big fan of the. The gold wrap uh, uh, wrapping for the cards much much easier to to undo and you don't get bent cards so that's definitely a keeper uh, as we mentioned in the video uh, before the what were going to be the ones for the game is just too small it's fiddly and annoying there's really no reason why we can't just go with a single size for everything that's a, a better size to deal with um, the Burger of the World stuff, yeah, we're happy with that. It's just more cards. This, this is just going to be a simple fold out supplementary rule sheet for Burger of the World. We're happy with that. I think that's fine. Uh, the one thing we we sort of hinted was going to be cool uh, was was this. Um, upon reflection, we've yeah, kind of we've talked about we debated about this one. Yeah. <laughs> we had this really cool idea in our head that when when you guys got your box, you'd open it up, you'd get a, a deck of cards that was wrapped in this paper that had the the uh, burger up motif across it, almost like you're getting a, a burger wrapped in a burger paper. And you'd open this up and you'd get the Burger of the World um, cards. Uh, it sounded really cool in our head, but I think the reality of it is that it's not really adding enough to the game, like to the overall feel and it, it's not giving the the kind of visceral experience that we, we hoped it might. Also because the the um the, the wrapping paper and the sticker when you unstick the uh, the sticker you're actually destroyed in the process and at that point this wrapping paper becomes useless and you're gonna have to throw it away anyway. Yeah so it's like a very nice sort of you know keepsake that you can't keep. <laughs> it presents really well but as soon as it's open it's doesn't present very well at all. It's just no. this piece of paper, and so unfortunately, uh, so, it's a nice, it's a nice idea, but I don't think we're going to yeah, keep it. Yeah, I don't think yeah. it'll make the cut. But um, you know, the idea was there, just <laughs> didn't really pan out. I don't think. Uh, so the retail pack, yeah, we're fine with that. Again, it just doesn't overly impact um, Kickstarter guys because jewels are going to come in the box. This is really just for retail. But we're happy with that. Uh, let's see the. Poster, we're super happy with the poster. Um, it's bigger than we thought it was going to be, but that's really cool. It's going to look fantastic. We're really happy with that. The paper stock is nice and thick. It has a good feel to it, so we're happy with the poster. Uh, the rule book and the recipe book. Again, really, really happy. Uh, we sort of went a little bit overboard with the number of pages we thought we would need, so we've asked for 16 pages. Adds way too many. <laughs> we could probably do it in um, two sheets. Uh, so when I say sheets, are four. There's four pages per sheet. So we can probably reduce it down by at least half, and still get plenty of room for the rules. Uh, similar with the recipe book, uh, we don't we don't need it to be so big. Um, yeah, and, and you know, just as a point, um, having smaller rule books is going and and the and the recipe book. Uh, gives us more sort of um, budget in terms of weight for yeah. you know slightly bigger boxes and everything else that the needs sort of that, that yeah definitely weight. the physical dimension doesn't need to change like yeah. the outside dimension but just the number of pages we don't need that much mm -hmm. um, so that's fine uh, right the, the one thing that we're a little concerned about at the moment um, the tray it's it's okay uh, like Quality wise, it's pretty good. We're happy enough with that. Uh, one issue we have though is getting the cards out. So imagine if you would, this was full of cards as well. 
you can't get your finger down there to get the cards out. So the only way at that point is to tip it, which we're not really a fan of. So we're going to try and resolve that by potentially making this strip bigger so that you can get a moderate sized person's finger uh, down the bottom. Uh, one thing we were concerned about originally was the ability to get the last card out. Um, often vacuum form trays it's difficult to get that one last card because it tends to stick down the bottom but actually this is really easy so <clears throat> that's that's good news we don't have to modify the design to accommodate finger holds really it's mostly just that width there which we need to uh, make a little bit bigger um, the boxes uh, just as another point is that the boxes are already going to be bigger um, to accommodate that slide addition for the sleeves. Um, yes, yeah. yeah. So it's that, be that additional size though will affect the, the size of these compartments, not the not width the actual between piece. the two. So that's an additional thing we're going to have to think about um, doing. So we may need to make the box maybe 10 mils wider, uh, which increases the weight and increases the cost. So it's all a balancing act. This is the fun of manufacturing. Um, Total weight, we add everything in. Um, oh, I won't bother doing it now. It's about 620 grams at the moment. With any modifications we make, that'll a smaller rule book will reduce the weight, but then a bigger box will increase the weight. So it should end up being around that 600 to 650 gram mark, which is roughly what we thought it would be. We hoped it might be a little less, but given all the extra stuff we've done, it's not surprising. Um, other than that, Overall, it's it's good to finally have a physical game in our hands that we can use as a point of reference for any changes we want to make. So a very important part of the process. Um, so the next step will be going back to the manufacturer with our thoughts and adjustments. Um, they may produce us another white box, or we may move instead to the press, uh, pre-press, which at that point it's a little more locked down, but we'd be pretty confident at that point that any adjustments we've made will, will achieve what we need it to, like the finger holds and that. Um, so yeah, that's the process. Uh, this is the white box, and that's pretty much it. We're happy with the result, and uh, hopefully you guys get a better feel for what the final game's going to be like. Okay, thank you guys.